So here we have a uh, what was a worldwide moving van. These are awesome little trailers. Get them around tight places. But uh, this gentleman, this farmer retired, and um, he retired and had all his chemicals in here. So if you look, we've got the back door opens to this this big probably not sure how many gallon tank that is. So here we've got two tanks. Gentleman had all his chemicals in this trailer, had a nice in out of the weather. It's got an inductor tank here. You can see he gave $800 a piece for these tanks. The price tag's still on it. Um, has them set up very nicely in here. Uh, it's got it where it all run together. I'm trying to watch it. Through. Make sure this thing punches. So the. Uh, the motor is free. I would guess without a lot, little bit of work that they can run. So the transfer motor is free. So we've got a, uh, this will have a title. I'm going to go ahead and have it put in my name because of how it came out of the estate deal. But um, I'd say you had brakes on that. But anyway, the trailer on the inside diameter is approximately, let's go the inside diameter of the wall. So it's approximately 90 four inches inside a wall to inside a wall. Great outfit for what he's doing. We do have a little bit of surface rust here starting in this, like right here. That's on a beam, a steel beam. That lasts a long time. He's never tried that. He retired and uh, I didn't ever have a semi in area, so this is the last piece I got. But uh, it's got a good roof on it. It is a single axle. When they brought it in, they slid their hitch all the way back to hook it and pulled it in here. But you can see it's got what I would say is an aluminum roof because it's nice and shiny. Uh, sides on this thing are straight. The height of this door, it's 11 feet, basically 11 and a half feet tall uh, to the actual roof. It has this side entry door. You'll see little bits of surface rust in place right there beside that door. We'll go ahead and show you how good it shuts. So the door shuts nicely. Like I say, we pulled it in here. Um, okay, it's got a good rim right here. You'll see a little bit more surface rust in places starting, okay? Very common for trailer of age, but he said for doing farm to farm, it was excellent. Oh, looks like these other two doors open up as well. You can open it up straight across, guys. Know that. So you can open it up and look straight through it. This one, the other one. These moving beds are nice. But they think you couldn't pack in them. So dual doors here, another door in the back. This thing is heavy duty. Very heavy duty. Like I say, it's got all the pipes transferred into the inductor and into the pump. Like I say, he hasn't farmed in a, a, a few years, so uh, the pump has been in the dry in here. I'm not going to guarantee you can get it running, but hopefully you can. By the time this sells, I should have the title in my possession. And, uh, Tires aren't great on it. It's got uh, some weather checking. Treads down just a little bit. Like I say, he never left the farm. They're 10, 120, 14s. It's got dual dual uh, doors in the back as well. But you're gonna buy it. I said nothing about it. You're gonna buy that little tractor house auction. We showed you what we can show you. It's just been a farm trailer, but they're they're very well built, fairly heavy duty. Like I say, the overall we already did that. We'll go to the bottom of the frame where the clearance is. I have 11 foot to the actual framing where something would fit in there. But you can see he set the tanks and everything, we're good. And uh, you're, gonna, you're welcome to come look at this, inspect it. It's here on the lot. 
and you're going to buy it absolutely on Tractor House Auction.